Hey, our next guest is an education technology pioneer who is leaning into AI as a force for good in education. Joining us right now, the Khan Academy founder and CEO, Saul Khan. His new book is out this week. It's called Brave New World, How AI Will Revolutionize Education and Why That's a Good Thing. Saul, thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks I, for having me. I think this is something that people who have not been paying attention are going to sit and think, what are you talking about? Because AI is what's destroying education. Everybody's using ChatGPT to write their essays. Explain why that's not a bad thing and how you think it's actually going to be a good thing. Yeah, and everyone's very familiar with the underlying technology in ChatGPT, but I think the, the main issue is ChatGPT was not built for education. So as soon as it came out, and I remember we were under a non-disclosure agreement with OpenAI at the time. We were working on what became Conmigo, which is our tutor and teaching assistant on Khan Academy. And then ChatGPT comes out, and we weren't supposed to launch until uh, March of 2023 with the GPT-4 launch. And I, I slack at Greg Brockman. I'm like, what's going on? Y'all launched something. You have all us <laughs> lawyered up. And so like, we didn't launch anything. We just put a chat interface on an older model on GPT 3.5, and the whole world exploded. But immediately, schools saw, hey, kids are going to use this to cheat. They started banning it. And that wasn't irrational. And, and by the way, kids are using it. I, I, they I can are tell using it. Watching all over the Some place. decent use it. cases and some not so good use cases. Yeah. And I was bummed at first. I thought the whole system's just going to give up on AI. But the, the good news is when we launched in March of 2023, the school system said if only someone took the technology and put it in a framework where it can help the student but not cheat. Like not give them the answer. Not give them the answer. Them exactly. Teachers can have oversight. There's data protections in it. You don't, it's not all chat interface. You can have interfaces where a student can write an essay with the AI, not by the AI, and then the AI can, can tell the teacher the process. So then now the teacher, that's actually a, a way to avoid cheating. Which yeah. the teacher can tell, and by the, the, the chat bot can say, hey, this is not the normal writing for this student. It's not consistent it's with what they typically do. We worked on this, or if they did do it, it, yeah. it, it is consistent. And we worked on it for four and a half hours, and Sal had trouble with the thesis statement. And that gives teachers a lot more information and actually undermines all forms of cheating. But how, yeah. how, do you, how much do you worry about it? You can go online right now. I actually just saw one recently where someone said, you know, if you have this paper, the way to do it is you're going to do it on ChatGPT, separately do the same prompt in Gemini, do another prompt and do the same paper in Claude. So you confuse your... No, no, then you put it into tracks. this other program I never even heard of that jams it all together. Then you take that version, you go back into one of the other ones, and you say, write it like, like I would, uh, like using their... their <laughs> No, it, it was a lot of work. This is three minutes compared to, to, to three weeks of work, right? And then out comes the paper, and you can get... I mean, that's what's happening, and it's happening all over the country. And, and to some, in the workplace, some of that might not be the worst skill to have, to be able to produce some, you know, normal content. But we also want kids to learn how to write. And so what we're yeah, doing that's, with... that's a huge problem. With, with schools is... A student will do their essay with Conmigo, and if they went, if they did this, or, and I wrote it in the book, there's a whole chapter on cheating. The state of cheating before ChatGPT was, ChatGPT didn't actually make it worse. No, it just they made just made it, it much more accessible. Exactly. It's like, it's like legalizing marijuana. <laughs> exactly. And so, but if the student does it with the AI, and then the AI reports to the teacher, and if the student does what you just described, and right. copies and pastes it into Conmigo, Conmigo will tell the teacher, hey, this looks shady. Right. That's that's why I would not copy and paste it into Conmigo. Well, but that's how you're going to need to submit it. <laughs> so you're saying it's the only way. So the only it's way the only is way. if the, the teacher and the school is actually using exactly. it, saying, you must exactly. go through this. There in fact, it's, no it's turning it a paper. Unlike otherwise. most things in technology and education in the past where it's like, this is a nice to have, I think this is a must have for a lot of teachers. Is, is Conmigo free or schools charge for this? How does this work? Yeah, so this has been interesting for us because our mission as a nonprofit is free, world class yeah. education for anyone anywhere, but then. When we came out, as we all know, these frontier models, GPT-4, Gemini, they use a lot of computation. It's not cheap. And so last year, we thought it would cost on the order of 70 or $80 per user per year in order to do this. And so those first school districts, we had to charge them something. But the costs have come down. The models have gotten say, cheaper. Struck, struck We've gotten efficient. You'll see an announcement. We'll be making an announcement with Microsoft on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. uh, they're going to be giving a big grant to make it free to all teachers. Uh, in America, so here, here. But the students would still have to pay to be able well, to use. I, we're, we're, we're exploring very quickly ways to bring it to. to how very how much costs. has it come down? Because I, I, from what I'm hearing, maybe dropped by, uh, you know, it, it get down to twenty dollars or ten dollars even. Is that what we're? Thinking? I think I think we're getting get in that range, and you know, it's already gone up by almost a factor of ten yeah. in the last year, and you know, knock on glass, I, I hope we can get it down by a factor of ten in, in the next year again.